Hey tubers. So you might already know this, but I am involved with a channel called Cropperty Blog, and we basically do video blogs at the Cropperty Festival. We've been doing it now for so long that we've really mastered the art of festival blogging. And if you head over to the channel and watch some of our videos from across the years, you can see where we've improved. But we feel like we're so good at it now that we can apply everything we've learned with Cropperty Blog to any other festival or gig that we go to. So I'm at the New Forest Folk Festival currently, and I'm going to be showing you around and talking about stuff and interviewing people and doing whatever I can, just doing everything that I've done with Cropperty Blog and just applying it to this new festival just to see how it goes. So let the New Forest Folk Festival adventure begin. Because I'm so used to Cropperty it's very difficult for me when I go to other festivals not to make comparisons but with this festival you really can because in many ways it was like a mini Cropperty. Almost all of the punters that I met over the weekend had also been to Cropperty and even a lot of the performers on stage have performed at Cropperty in recent years including one of the organizers Richard Digence. Richard Digence. We have met before. You, you picked on me at Hitchin Folk Club once. I was sitting I in the front row and you, you... I said you were a babe and you shouldn't even be at a folk that's, club at your That's age. the one, yeah. Along with him we also had Peter Knight from Steel Eye Span who was playing with his band Gig Spanner and also later played with Feast of Fiddles. We had Jez Lowe, we had Show of Hands, we had Fake Thackeray and we had Little Johnny England closing the show on the Sunday night. So even though compared to Cropperty it was a very different festival, in many ways, it did have that distinct property spirit, even if it was on a smaller scale. Well, this was um, great for me because they're my friends that own the farm, and they uh, invited me to sort of help them out with some artists and stuff, and I was more than pleased to do that. And, um, and so, yeah, it's in my heart, really, to, to make this one a really nice one. The whole emphasis being it's, it's got to be a friendly gig. It's uh, it, it's never going to be big because of the size, but uh, it's always going to be enjoyable and friendly. Big names, which is great, you know, and, yeah, ringing up and getting some favours done from mates and things. But uh, I think we're off and running. I think I've just done a set, so uh, I'm the first one this weekend, and uh, it seemed pretty responsive, so I think we're okay, yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely summer weather, you know, it's just like fantastic, isn't it? What a great location. In the second year, great guys who run it. And I hope it's like a big success for them, you know, they really deserve it, they put a lot of work into it, you know. And a good lineup, good healthy lineup. so hopefully upwards and onwards, I hope it all works out good for them, you know. It's the first time I've uh, been to, I think it was held last year, but um, yeah. I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's lovely to be here, like, end of the summer really, and it's still beautiful weather. This is a really amazing, lovely, warm festival, I mean, it's just the right size and it's, it's a really you know friendly bunch of people and, and they're here to listen is, yeah. and enjoy themselves. Uh, Nick and Keith Curtis and uh, Richard Digest they just you know put together a, a really cool festival and it's a treat to be here. It's lovely. I've only been here about half an hour. I've had fish and chips, vegetable curry, chili con carne, <laughs> 15 beers, <laughs> chased a ball around the field trying to get it away from the dog and um, I'm having a really nice time. I, I'm so pleased that it's taken off. I came here last year um, and it was just really a, a, an experiment last year to make sure everything worked properly and I think there were about 30 of us in a field um, and uh, Richard said, oh, don't worry, next year it'll be a three-day event and it'll be great and the sun will shine and we'll have wonderful acts here and every one of those things has come through. It's magnificent. All of the performers that I spoke to said that it had a really friendly atmosphere and I agree with them, it really does. It was a lovely event and the organisers did really well considering this is the first time they've ever done a whole weekend festival. I can definitely recommend it and I can also definitely say that I'll be there next year. Well done, vlog. Keep it going. See you next time. <laughs>